หมอขยะโปรเจกต์ตรงปีโจหมอขยะโปรเจกต์ปีโจตรงปีโจหมอขยะโปรเจกต์หมอขยะโปรเจกต์หมอขยะโปรเจกต์ตรงปีโจหมอขยะโปรเจกต์ปีโจตรงปีโจหมอขยะโปรเจกต์หมอขยะโปรเจกต์ It is the first time in the world that people had the idea to not put the plastic garbage in everything. Not in the bag, but like up in the air. And apparently, it seems like there's no. Well, everything is more clean and expanded to the whole world. This idea could save plastic and avoid pollution and stuff like that. Project is an environmental project which aims to educate population about recycling um, and the, the advantages of recycling stuff concerning pollution and illness and sickness. It one of the main aims is the education of the kids and not only old people, usually kids, for the next generation to have knowledge about how important is it to realize about how you can easily. Make good stuff with only small actions. m o h a y a project is an environmental educational program project which aims to educate the population on the on the dangers of pollution and illness and sickness, mostly through recycling ways in plastic bags and plastic um, pots and jars and. When you come to Thailand, sometimes you will see big big parties with everybody with a plastic plate on it. And when you think about it a little, just for a second, you don't really realize how much it is important to behave and be careful about each of your actions. Because when you don't take care of it, everybody, everything is going to end up in the garbage stuff, and go, and nothing can be used of it. So B J has thought about what we could do with all of those garbage and recycle and use them again for those who can be used. He was thinking of this for eight years now, and he was trying to find the best way to improve his technique to make everybody part of this. Only for everybody to volunteer, and with good heart, you can make big action. And the aim is to educate, educate the populations, not only old people, adults, and people like that. The new generation and next generation would be better to make everybody realize that small acts make. Big actions, and he started to think about new ways of recycling each and every pieces of plastic you can use in parties and big gathering of people and stuff like that. And he found a way for each of them to be recycled in ways that you don't even think about when you just throw them on the garbage bin. With a global and world we extend, this would have a huge impact on the cleaning of our planet because we don't normally think about it. Back in Western countries, because everything is already pounded already, but you come to realize that big cities do reject a lot of plastic and garbage and stuff that you can't recycle anymore because everything is put together. But once you separate all the things, you realize you can actually use most of them. The m o k a y a project has come to a point where you can actually recycle each and every one of them. Whether it be plastic or food, they develop techniques in Thailand to to recycle all of this. And this, in maybe a few years, would certainly have a huge impact if everybody thinks about it and come to the point when you realize your actions and you, the importance of what you do. It would have probably a very huge impact on the planet. One of his techniques was to, <coughs> well, the not not the recycling part, but the gathering and separating of each. Plastic, different stuff. Also implies that the huge amount of plastic that you can dispose at the end of those big gatherings, people would be way lessened. When you get a party with a thousand or well, this project was never intended to become any business affair or anything. It's just the good heart of a monk, I guess, trying to help the world and do good things and help the people, educate the people with. The main message of this program: help and educate young generations for what we're going to leave as we go. Because 
once you die there's only ashes and pieces bones basically you don't the only thing you leave once you leave is your actions nothing of what you are and I think with this program he's gonna leave a good thing on the world in order to make the world better you have to make mentalities evaluate in a very in a new way because with right now with the global warming we realize that we couldn't just use our planet as we want there is stuff we can do and stuff that has consequences and once we come the project has already been put in reality because Albedo has already been traveling around many many schools and universities in Thailand and always in order to make this project alive you have to keep the people interested in it and everybody has to be volunteer and have goodwill and good heart bringing on it and once you actually go once you get into this project and with huge people huge amounts of people and, and big big very big universities what just if you put aside the serious way of what you're actually doing it's just you're just enjoying it it's a very entertaining thing to do and a very good thing to do one man is the starting point of this project only one monk if he gets to make this project famous which i'm sure he will people would be more and more interested and they have to learn about what they do and what consequences of their actions they have there is and there is no business plan or loads amount of money on this project it's just the goodwill of one man trying to help the planet trying to help the world trying to help the people once he can do that if you hear about this project i think he would touch to you he would touch you into your heart well the aim of this project is not to be famous or make money or anything like that it's just to educate and he wants this idea to spread into the people spread into the world and to educate People. We get a saying like this back in France, it is small waterfalls make big rivers. It's not the capacity of one man doing something as much as he can that important. It's more how it's gonna spread, spread into the people and how seriously touched will they be and how far they're ready to go to save their own planet. Because we all live in it, we have to do something, obviously. And as far as, far as environment is concerned, there is we don't always see it from where we are in our comfortable houses and nice countries and big TVs and cars but the world is a very very endangered balance and you have to make stuff not to endanger more of this balance because once it falls you cannot do anything to help it. Bita was saying that basically if you don't realize the power of your actions and what consequences they may have you will However powerful and educated and rich, if you don't realize what you're doing, you will just end up taking care of your garbage and putting them like as stupidly as any as anyone would do it anywhere on earth. It's not so much the knowledge you have to know. It's more there is something wrong when it comes to garbage selling. Cause well, he was explaining to me the metaphor of like a very rich and educated man who just takes care of his garbage as as well as anybody would like a, you know, a street seller would do it and he was telling me that something is missing somewhere however educated you are you still don't take care of this and that is wrong there is stuff you should think about always you cannot think about everything but sometimes you can do it and this Mohaya project is here to make you realize and to open your eyes about what's happening and what you can do only simple acts not very big. You don't need to volunteer for years of practice and live in shit conditions. Just make up your mind and open your eyes and do it as well. Mohia project is not only one man trying to educate the world. It's more like trying to open people's eyes. You don't, you don't realize in normal life when you don't think of your actions. You just basically throw your garbage out. You think it's just only many, many people in the huge cities that make those huge amounts of plastic and garbage and everywhere. But it relies on everybody's actions. When it comes to pop dangers of in populated area and pollution, we are all concerned. There's not, there's no such thing as I put my garbage in the bin, so there's no problem. No, you have to think about what ap what happens after. 
you, the action doesn't stop on you throwing your bottle in the garbage. Once you realize that every everything is linked, you're you're linked to your neighbor and how you take together care of your earth, of your the place where you live. You realize that anything, any action you can take has consequences. You have to realize that you have the power to change that, and you can do so good, so much good things with only small actions. You don't need to. You don't need to go and travel the world as he does. You don't need to. Just all he wants you to do is realize the lesson and learn about it and keep on doing it. That's it.